Hi, this is uh, part three of a series of videos about the PolyEd tool in Unreal Engine 5.1. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go through the extrude and offset operations. So extrude, uh, like you might be familiar with from other tools, basically when you have a selection, uh, only face selections can be extruded right now. You have a face selection, you extrude, and that essentially offsets that face and stitches it in to the mesh. Uh, and so the way we by default do this is essentially it's sort of live in the viewport and as you move your mouse up and down it the extrusion comes with you and to accept the current state you click. Uh, you can also change this to fixed mode and then instead of uh, clicking the viewport you use this slider to set the height. You can type in numbers and you click apply to apply it or cancel to cancel it. Um, when it's in uh, click in viewport mode you can also snap to things so that actually you see when I mouse off of this sort of extruded infinite shape here it can go in as well as out when I mouse off it disappears that's because it's snapping to the ground plane uh, based on my hip position so I can use the cursor and I can mouse over other stuff in the scene so I want to extrude it to the exact same height as this uh, other shape I just mouse over top and you can see it's giving me my uh, hit scene hit X and so then when I click they're the same height um, so uh, we've also got various uh, direction modes so I'm gonna just rotate this here a little bit and then go back into polyed um, you know I can extrude along the f uh, selection normal uh, and that'll be sort of inferred from the selection uh, I could change it to world Z and then it's gonna go straight up uh, I could change it to local Z, which in this case, uh, let's do like local Y. So that's not a great extrusion, but you can see it's using the local axes of the object, uh, of the mesh. Um, and then I can also change the direction mode. So first of all, I'm going to um, cancel this extrusion. I'll just select two faces here and do extrude with the selection normal you see. So now it's kind of guessed based on the average normal of those faces. This is a sort of combined direction. Um, but it's doing a linear extrusion of the faces. So it's moving all the faces in the same direction along that axis. You can also change the direction mode here uh, to selected triangle normals and then it will basically move each face um, sort of on a combined sort of unique. Actually selected triangles normals even is, is the one that's often most intuitive. Um, so when you do that, you see it's essentially offsetting each face um, in a in a sort of constant thickness, um, and so that's a can be really nice to do different kind of features. If I cancel this one, you know, I can even do something like that um, to make like little offset shapes and things like that. Um, so that's the extrude operation, the sort of basics of the extrude operation. There's also offset. I'm going to make a sphere first to show you a few other things and offset. The difference between offset and extrude will make more sense. So offset and extrude are essentially quite similar operations. You can configure them to do the same kind of things. Offset we kind of have set up differently by default as a shortcut. So offset will offset each face along with the, by default the vertex normals. So you see here um, and this is where we get into sort of polygroups versus polygons. So this is a face with lots of triangles, but it's a single polygroup. And so now I'm offsetting the whole polygroup based on its boundary. You know, and then if I do an extrude with the defaults, it's going to do a linear extrusion. Uh, the offset can also be configured to use the even selected normals even. Um, and it can have the same fixed or click in viewport. So uh, that's the extrude and offset operations. Um, essentially, uh, they're 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 similar but uh, useful in different contexts. The offset, well, and the extrude, they both also work on you know much more complex situations. So here, um, oh, I'm I'm still in the poly edit of other operations. So that's one thing to note. So the extrude and offset, they have these apply and cancel. Um, and I can undo and redo, but the changes aren't baked into the mesh. So if I click cancel now, I'm going to lose all the changes I made there and there's no way to get them back. So 
that's something to keep in mind when you're using polyedit. It, it can be good to, you know, after you do some operations, just accept every once in a while so you get like an undo state because now I can undo and redo those changes. Um, I was just going to show on this bunny, same kind of thing. So here I've set up this bunny to have this big poly group on the back. So then offset is a good tool um, to use if you want to do something like, you know, give the bunny some armor. Now we've got a kind of shell we made there. Um, so the offset operation is meant for those kind of surface, uh, you know, where, where each vertex moves in a variable direction and the extrude kind of is defaulting to everything moving in a single direction. Um, and then the other operation that's in this sort of series is push-pull. So push-pull pull is super powerful operation um, where basically it works just like extrude or offset except that it cuts the mesh. So if I uh, cancel this, so if I extrude this face inward, you see it's going to leave a border um, because it's not changing the topology of the object and I can even extrude it all the way through, which uh, is no good. Um, I'll turn the floor off here and we can see that it's sort of gone through and it's got inside outside face. Um, oh, I did that. So, so if I jump back into uh, that push-pull operation, you see that it's actually cutting the mesh, so it's actually doing a boolean. Um, so that works with all those same kind of operations. If I do a push-pull of this, with selected triangles even, it's going to be cutting away. Uh, if I push-pull this face through, it's doing a subtract. But I can also, for instance, do a push-pull the other way and now it's doing a, a union. You know, now I've got this face here I just created. So the push-pull is a super powerful sort of way to do kind of uh, quick sort of cuts through the shape uh, compared to extrude and offset, but otherwise sort of moves the faces in the same way. Okay, and that's it for uh, extrude, offset, and push-pull.